and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Do we have a juicy story today? It looks like KV uh, eating themselves alive from the inside. And that's actually quite a scary analogy and it's also a, uh, a horrible image. But what we have and what I'm about to show you is actually quite funny. It's actually very ironic as well. So, this is coming from Cheshire Black. They sent this to me, and we have the following. LJ Montello, what's out of context about recommending planting questions to divert legitimate attendee questions? What is out of context about an email trail? Our, your own vocal support of multiple con runners with known history after the history was known. And what this is, she's actually talking about Ginny McManus. Ginny McManus is a sworn affidavit for Monica. And we're going to read it and we're going to discuss it at the end. Hey folks, if you follow my personal feed, you're aware that I've been the focus over the past year of some misguided and rather disgruntled cyber bullies who are, for some reason, going through my long history of cons I used to work for to post widely out of context screenshots framed with misleading and often wholly inaccurate claims about stuff I supposedly did, some dating back over a decade. First of all, with that, I do want to say they've been doing that to VM ever since. They've been taking photos of him giving that girl a kiss, who had to come out and say, no, that is, that is me, you're using my photo, and I absolutely loved doing that. You had another one in this country as well, when someone put on a dinner, and, she, and they were like, oh, she's 14, and she was, actually, I was 18. And yes, I'm allowed. And these people, they really, they don't seem to realize still to this day, oh, I'm gonna use this photo. No one's gonna come out and uh, say anything. But those people come out and say, yeah, that's my photo, that never happened. Why are you using my photo without my permission and making up stories? Then we're gonna go for another one. I've actually mentioned this in here before, but since obviously this group is full of connected people and it's still going on. I wanted to address the elephant in the room. It's recently escalated another uninvolved members of WRAC have had their names blasted online for no other reason than you and I might have had a conversation in here. As an affiant for Monica in the V lawsuit who was doxxed, I find that deeply unsettling. I don't really care what stories they make up about me, but I don't wish that experience on anyone here and it needs to stop now. Carries on. Do you have questions on any of the allegations floating around on Twitter about me? Or since a few of these folks who are fixated on me are members, would you like to ask me them here in front of the room? Go for it, I have nothing to hide. And with that, again, she's just going on saying, I've been doxxed, everyone's doing this to me, they're making up stories about me. Basically, everything that has happened to VM is now happening to these people and they just don't like it. But the funniest thing is, this is what LG Montello has come back with. Obviously, he was our first one who was saying, oh, what about all this? But then she said, P.S. I post nothing with others' names, which she does. She's lying there. And it's funny how this person continues to cry victim when she seems to find the year of harassment faced by myself and multiple other women she gives no care about delightful. Just like with Dom, so I'm assuming that's Dominique Sky, harassment is okay if it's not her. So she's literally picking fights with two people in one tweet. She's picking it with McManus and she's also picking it now with Dominique Sky. So it's kind of like, oh, here we are, that's interesting. And Ginny McManus has put the following as well. I think I'm only blocked by LJ and people who believe her but not by any V-trolls, which is ironically delightful. And I think that is absolutely hysterical because now we have got someone, LJ Montello, who seems to be at this moment along, you know, along with BT, seem to be the most adamant and the most venomous out of all of KV. These are the ones who literally every single day they obsess about someone when they're literally like, I don't care. And it's like, well, you're still talking about him. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're making videos because you're talking about him and we're making people see how stupid you are. 
And there's people who say, oh, just get over it. They can get over it. And now, all of a sudden, they're in fighting, like this as well, which, again, is absolutely hysterical. And especially when LJ Montello is saying Dominique Sky is exactly the same. She loves harassment and all this, but not when it's against her. I think that is fantastic because she's picking a fight now and it's just, it's going to come to a massive blow. You can just see that happening. But she carried on. It bears repeating that this is someone who is content to sit and watch myself, Mallory Knox, Mars Girl, and Fresh Crack Pep and a dozen others who were doxxed and harassed for months on end. But she's the victim when behaviour past and present comes to the forefront. I call BS. By the way, let's note this person is only concerned about Monica, despite she has been bad-mouthing Jamie behind her back and continues to give no cares to non-celebrity doxings. Because unlike her, Dom, Ren and I have all been doxxed and had things sent to us. Stop playing victim. Montello should really take her own advice because she is literally now she picked a fight with this woman, she's picked a fight with Dom, but then she's saying, oh no, me and Dom, you know, we're like this, we're best buddies, and, you know, we've all been docked, we've all been sent stuff. Well, it's funny because these are the people who said, you know, like Emmett, like Shane, you know my address, you know what, if you, if you want to do something, go ahead, which is literally provoking them. And I still find it funny that Montello and McManus this infighting is going to spoil over, I'm telling you. It's going to just explode soon and it's not. It's going to be funny for us because we're going to sit back and just be like, right, okay. So that's happened. Yeah, they're uh, eating each other alive in there at the moment. And then you're going to have Monica, again, with her saying she only concerned about Monica. Well, Monica's probably, you know, Monica's her friend. So obviously she is going to be concerned about her friend. She may not like Jamie, and to be honest with you, a lot of people don't. But I'm with, the, with Montello acting like this now. It's just going to hit the fan, and it's going to be glorious to watch. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.